Hello and welcome everybody to a new video. Today, I will be showing you how to make the custom race AI competitive. Because as you know, you go to the custom races, they're supposed to be fun, but the AI just seem way too slow. That's a common occurrence for just about anybody unless you're driving a car that is way slower than the AI. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you exactly how to fix that problem. Damn, I sound like a generic YouTuber. Um, <laughs> but yeah, basically, the big important thing is turning on boost to weak. If you turn on boost to weak, it basically fixes all of your problems. Oh, but you've also got to have that professional. I turn on all these other things normally, but the only things you really need uh, for this to work is boost on weak and AI at professional level. And then they should be fairly competitive. Okay, now I'm going to be doing a lap around the Nürburgring in the uh, Corvette C7. If you don't want to see the whole lap, then there'll probably be timestamps so you can compare the um, boost on with boost off somewhere here or possibly further back in the video somewhere. I had timestamps somewhere, I know I will. Uh, but anyway, let's start the race. We'll see how it goes with boost on. And you'll see that the AI are far more competitive than they usually be. Like, usually, you would just absolutely annihilate them through the first part of the race. So, I don't think, without boost on, I've ever lost to the AI. I do not think I've lost the custom race against the AI, ever. Like, with equal machinery, right, and boost off, I don't think I've ever lost. I really don't think I have. And so, with boost on, you can see I have not just overtaken everybody through the first quarter like you usually would. They're definitely running a lot faster, and I'm not going to go slowly around here. I'll run at a decent pace, like a properly pretty quick pace. I just will try not to crash or injure the, well, uh, hit the AI. I was about to say injure the AI. Uh, but I'll try and not absolutely destroy the AI. But you can see how much brake and how much throttle I'm using. And my controller is mildly dodgy, so sometimes it doesn't go full throttle when I want it to. Like, sometimes you'll see that on corner exit. Sometimes I'll be a little bit off the front of the throttle, but that's just because it doesn't do that all the time. Like, it doesn't work how I want it to, due to dodgy controller. I need a new one. But, as you can see, the AI are definitely keeping pace. They're not very good at overtaking, but they can most definitely overtake it. I haven't had them uh, overtake me. I've had those encounters uh, in other custom race events with Boost on Week, of course. They can and will potentially overtake you particularly cars that are faster in a straight line and even sometimes through the corners which is very very different but you can see I'm making ground right here but the further we go up the field and as cars get like as with further we go up the field oh that was a bit of a collision there luckily I had vehicle damage off whoa I was about to be rear-ended as cars going for the dive on the inside I can see that on my radar there I'm trying to give them space but I'm very bad at that at the moment because this is why I don't do uh, sport racing in this game because I really suck at being nice <laughs> but yeah oh my gosh we're stuck behind the V advantage but they're braking at a reasonable time they're not braking randomly down the straights they're not halfway off the throttle they actually hit the throttle it's very very good and you can see they're definitely faster than they usually are because I've only made five positions just there and I'm definitely not trying to drive slowly here. And I've only made five positions, made that six positions because I made another one. GR Supra, we're going to get past that as well. The RE, and how do you pronounce that? Am Ammania? Ammania? I think I pronounced that right. I really hope I am. That will be a bit faster because it will be faster with the corners. But it will be slower down the straight, so I'll probably pass that down the straight somewhere. But you can see that the AI are definitely more competitive than they usually are. They're definitely not as competitive normally. I'll be able to show you uh, if you check timestamps further back in the video. I'll just go into the description because I'll have timestamps for everything there. Uh, yeah, you can check and see where the AI are actually at. I think it'll be the first carousel I'll base it on. So basically, the timestamps in the video, as far as I know, unless I've changed the identity, um, will be at both carousels to see what position I am, how far away I am from the leader and all of that. Yeah. So, but this is running pretty well. The Rhodes to Touring car has moved down to third. I'm pretty sure it was in the lead at the start of the race. But I'm actually trying to run this fairly quickly. 
this is not like a slow run. This is more like a, I'd say around 80%, 75, 70%, sort of. I think it's around 75% of like absolute attack. Because I need to add a numerical system to this because otherwise my brain don't work. <laughs> There's an M3. The, the only problem I've still got is that the AI, the AI still get out of your way. I wish they didn't do that. Like, they don't do that always in this mode. Like, I think they do it less due to the fact that they do um, generally seem more competitive. But if you're getting close to them at a faster rate, like, if you're moving much faster than them, they will just move out of the way. Which I guess makes sense because people do that in sports mode. I've actually counted it, I think, once or twice in sports mode where if you're traveling a lot faster than the opponent, they'll just give you space and let you buy it. Like, it doesn't happen much in sports mode. I wish people would actually be like, oh, this guy's faster than me and I'm slowing him down. There's no way I will actually be competitive against him. Let's let it pass. Imagine people do that in sports mode. Nobody's ever going to do that. Shit, they're faster than me. I'll just defend with my life until I fly off the track. That's, that's how sports mode is. Oh, rain. Oh. See, I set the weathers for random, so I actually had no idea there would be rain. But this is going to make this more difficult for me and probably more difficult for that Porsche because that Porsche is rear engine, rear wheel drive. At least the six front engine wheel drive. Actually, maybe the Porsche will be better because it's got more weight over the rear wheels. Mine's got no weight over the rear wheels, so it'll just spin up. Ooh, Z's got a little bit slip. or oh, more slip. I've got to find a way past without... I actually like that colour of that Z. I have a Z in this game. In that colour. I quite like that colour. I don't even remember what it's called, but it's, it's unique and I quite like it. There's the SFR Racing Concept. That thing's incredible around corners, and I'm pretty sure in sports mode, a lot of servers just don't want you to use it because of how OP it is for its class. Oh my god, I've gone off. I just understood it had no grip. The front just lost all grip. Well, that's the last thing I want to happen. That's the problem I've got here. I'm only in 10th as well. I want I wanted to gain more positions, to be honest, to get in 10th. I want to be near the front of the grid. I want to... But the rain, I think, is screwing this up a bit for me, more than the AI. Because the AI, I don't think are affected. Oh no, but they are affected by the rain. They definitely are. But, I feel like, you can see, I slide off the track, the AI don't. I think that's because they have all sorts of, whoa, all sorts of tracks, control systems, and everything else all the time. I usually run that without that. And the, tr the game is, like, throwing me everywhere right now. I cannot stay on circuit. This is not working for me at all. Come on, the Z's going past because he's actually got less power and it's a more stable car at in heavy rain. Because the rain is rather heavy, I actually am barely keeping this car driving. Like, it's wheel spinning and I'm not even half throttle. And I'm doing this on controller, so I've got to be really sensitive with, with throttle inputs. And that's Bonsum, this is PS4 controller by the way, PS4 Pro. While I'm running this on. Whoa! I was heavy on the brakes, I couldn't do anything about that. It locked, I could not steer, I could not slow it down. That would really suck if I did that with vehicle damage on. I mean, I would have already screwed this car up with vehicle damage on. Which I really wish I wouldn't have, but I would have. Look at how much rain there is on circuit, though. You can really see. I should still surpass a lot of these cars down the main straight, providing the car doesn't just aqua plane off the track somewhere. Oh, I thought I could just power it down and get past the Z. I want to get past that Z. No, no, that was bad. That was bad. That was bad. That was bad. I had no grip. I hate that. Yeah, I lost more ground now. The R E N M I O. Is that how it's pronounced? Ammonia. The R E Ammonia has also got past me. I've got a Supra behind me as well, which is a decent car, I guess. I mean, against the Corvette, it should not have a chance in a straight line, because uh, drag coefficient of Corvette is, like, brilliant. There's a reason they call it the Stingray. It's just got so much, uh, so little drag, that even with 450 horsepower, it is way faster than a lot of other cars. Like, for example, the Camaro that runs the same engine. Okay, I'm just going to pin it down here. Come on, give it everything. Please don't act plane off the track. That's the last thing I want to see, is this car just slide off the track. I wonder how much brakes I'll need to use up the top of this hill, though. The leader is gone, the SLS AMG. I'm very much catching up with a lot of other cars here, but I can really feel how sketchy this is, even on a PS4 controller. It feels very, very, very loose. And they've all hit the brakes. I'm going to try and go past 
shit, I'm on wet. That, no grip, apple finding off the track. I had nothing there. I had no grip, I still have no grip, I still have no grip. And I've got grip again. Okay, that was sketchy, that's why. I was not doing this with vehicle damage on, because for one, they made the vehicle damage worse, but even if they didn't, I would have been absolutely total there. The leader is already finished. I didn't realize how much of a wet patch that was on circuit there. Well, the Cayman, yeah, the Cayman, sorry, not the Cayman, that's a SUV. Oh my gosh, come on, out of my way. He's wheel spinning like shit, I can hear that. Yeah, just, just, just pin it. <laughs> Hope something works. Seventh place. The rain screwed me up a bit there, but I definitely was not catching the leaders anyway. Like, I think I would have gotten to maybe fourth place. Fourth was a far up, was he? Maybe fourth place without the rain, I think. But I wasn't winning, and that's the thing. Now let's try this to boost off. Okay, we are now back and racing again, but this time, boost is off and we're about to see probably a major difference I assume. Well I guess we find out. So here we go, we are against F50 up ahead which should by rights be faster than the F40 in the previous race, but it won't be because boost is off, therefore it'll probably do nothing. I'm still going to be as cautious if not more cautious this time around, uh, around the AI. Because last time, I was being fairly cautious around the AI, this time I think I'll do the same. Because of course you'd want to keep it as uh, similar as I can. Of course, I think what I should have done is not put the AI at random, but set my own, or set them all as equal or something. But I think setting them as random will still be good enough, because most people will set them as random anyway. Or they'll set up their own grids of who knows what. F50 is just going to let me pass here? No, not quite. He was going to, but he didn't. Look at how wide the F50 is, even compared to the Corvette, that's a wide car. It's a very aggressive stance to vehicle, like... Like, I know it's like stock standard, right, the F50. That's a stock standard F50, but it is brilliant. Like, I love the styling of the F50. I honestly, I don't know if I prefer the F50. I think, I think I do prefer the F50 and the F40. That's a controversial opinion. The other thing I prefer about the F40 is maybe, I mean the pop of headlights, that's gotta be, that's gotta be a plus. And I don't dislike the F40, I just think the F50 is a bit more, I don't know, scary to have in your mirrors. The F40 looks a bit plain. I like boxy designed cars, but the F40 looks plain, especially for a Ferrari. The F50 on the other hand, that's, that's an F50, you know? Yeah, it's not faster, and even in some situations is slower than the F40, but it's a brilliant car. It's not too much faster than the F40, so if you prefer the F40, then the F40 would probably still work. And in some situations, I think the F40 would actually be faster than the F50. But most of the time, especially around circuit, the F50 will be faster. But look at this, I'm already making all these positions up. Oh my gosh, trying to get past the opponents without wiping them out is one difficult task. See, they break way too early. I'll just break here. Send it through this corner. And continue. I think, I don't know if I'm being more serious this time around. For some reason I feel like I am. I'm not intentionally. But I feel like I'm running it a bit faster. Maybe it's because last time it was raining and I was like, that's maybe what's made me feel like that. I feel like I'm running it faster now. And there's an NSX and a GTR. Two very, very different Japanese supercars. One of them looks like a supercar, but it's hybrid powered. The other one looks like a not a supercar, but it's definitely a very, very, wow! Oh, tries to drive me off the track, man. I think the AI just lost that bit of uh, traction there and then tried to recover, but I know the AI aren't that skilled. I mean, you can sort of tell. Even with the boost on weak, they're not the most skilled in the world. They just can, they can keep pace with you. They can make a race interesting, but they're still not very skilled at working out where they are in comparison to the other cars on the grid and stuff like that. Like, they're still not very good at working out where they should be on circuit and stuff like that. They just follow a set racing line and alter it slightly depending on what's going on during the race. Oh my god, why? Out of the way, you've got a Ford Focus engine in that thing. Move! That's like a 2 litre 
like a four cylinder. I think it's a turbo. Oh my god, I'm heavy on the brakes, but it's not working because the Mazda is lighter and has bigger brakes, I actually think, than this Corvette. The GTR, I actually really like GTR. GTR is a great car. I mean, so is the MX-5 and so is the GT40. What is, what is the greatest car? I don't know, you can't decide what is the greatest car. It doesn't work like that. You probably have a, but I'm already in fifth place. I didn't even make it to fifth place before. But this time, fifth place, easy. And I will, I'm still 14 seconds off the leader, but I feel like I will catch up. Or at least, because that's 13, seven, 13, six. What's the leader driving? A Ford GT. Everybody knows a Ford GT is got to be faster than the C7 Corvette. The only thing that the C... And same things like the Viper. The Viper is going to be faster than the C7 as far as I know. I mean, the majority of the time. But the Vi the um, 4 GT, that's got no excuse. That's got to be faster than this. That's like a requirement. They're in different leagues. The Corvette is maybe just a supercar. Like, it's... It, it meets the... It's sort of like the Audi R8. It meets the requirements. Just. <laughs> Although I guess that would say the same about the GTR due to the way the GTR is. It just doesn't fit the general supercar type. But the 4 GT, that's undisputed to be a supercar. And down a straight, on an uphill straight, where that 4 GT has more power, better aerodynamics and everything. And I was catching up. By a lot. That was like 12 seconds gain down a straight where the 4 GT should have been faster. Because I know this thing's, I think the Corvette has a bit of drag coefficient, but the 4 GT's got more power, and that still outweighs the drag coefficient difference for the C7. And the 4 GT should handle better, because it's mid-engine, it was built a lot more for the premise of it being a supercar. The Corvette, you can still technically drive it every day. I've heard that it's not a great car to drive every day, it's possible. But... At the same time, it's definitely had the intention of some people might drive it, like, as a daily. I mean, I know there's probably a lot of people in the US that do, but I'm, I'm in Australia, so frick knows what happens in the USA, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not in the USA. I don't even... I mean, I saw the new C8 Corvette recently, um, with my eyes, and, um... It was, it was pretty cool. I actually really like the styling of it. I think it's a great car. So, I saw it at a car event. So, that was pretty cool. C8 Corvette's pretty cool. And the other thing about the C8 is they actually intended... I think it was during the... Uh, when they were making the C2 or C3 Corvette. I think it was the C2. And I've got off the track. But I think it's when they were making the C2, it might have been the C3, they did actually intend on it being the being mid-engined. I think it was the C2. But they intended on it being mid-engined, but it never happened. And I guess the C8 really shows um, that a mid-engined Corvette would have been a great idea to start with, but even back at the time. And that would have been mid-engined before the Mira, by the way. As a road car, that would have been mad. So... but they never went through with it. So there could have been a mid-engine Corvette and they could have said the Corvette was the first supercar and not the Lamborghini Mira. How insane would that have been? Because it's generally accepted that the Lamborghini Mira is the first supercar, but the Corvette could have been. And how different would we have viewed the Corvette today if that was the case? I mean, it's definitely it's still a supercar today. It's still a supercar, yeah, but it would have been viewed so differently if they made a mid-engine back at that time. And also, we're catching up. I mean, we're in the slip. No, we're no longer catching up. The GT's uh, power advantage is absolutely kicking ass. Still pulling away, still pulling away, still pulling away. Oh, no, we're going uphill, and the 4 GT's probably lifted off the throttle because they're an idiot. They're going to hit the brakes over this as well. No, they get out of my way. They get out of my way, move off the racing line when they definitely didn't have to. Uh-oh. Yep, totally, totally meant to do that. Come on, grip up. Oh my god, brakes. I always take that very, very aggressively and just hope it works. Here we go, power! 
Yes. But you can see the difference. I won against what was arguably a faster car at the front of the grid. I mean, a Ford GT is faster than the Mercedes SLS AMG. I think that's what it was, or it was the GT... I think it was the SLS AMG uh, last time, but I don't know. But you can see, these are definitely slower. And the thing is with the, um, the AI uh, with the boost on, is you can stay in an endurance race, and if you get ahead of them, right, they will sort of start to keep pace with you, keep where you are. They won't, they won't just leave. Like, they won't, you won't just leave them in the dust. It makes it very, very competitive and a whole lot of fun. So I recommend you try that out. And I'm going to end the video here. Now that the garage, now I'm in the garage, I always end the video in the garage. But I'm going to end the video here and I'm going to hope you enjoyed. And if you did, remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.